Hey guys, and welcome back to Clannad. So I do believe that we are coming up to the end of Tamoyo's route, so let's just jump right back in. In that, I see a familiar yellow head. What? You too at this time? Oh, it's Okazaki! It's become something like a habit. I ended up falling asleep around 11 o'clock last night. Well, we'll come back to it. Oh, that's what I hope! The both of us sigh as we rise up the long hill. Alright! Who'll break Tomoyo's spell today? Yeah. Escape these early mornings! We'll stay up until morning and fall dead asleep! Oh yeah. One hour later. G this means... <laughs> this really isn't a spell, is it? We've been doing nothing for too long, so now we'll end up attending like this. Well, if we planned on being late, we shouldn't have woken up at all, or up and come at all. That's truly regretful. Indeed. Then, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting sick. Alright, let's break the curse today. Yeah. Even then... Just the two of us stare at each other. We'll definitely fall asleep. Indeed. Having said that, today I brought a game to keep us going. We'll play until morning. But there's no TV to connect a game console to, is there? Who said anything about a console? Here! He put something flat on top of the kotatsu. Th <laughs> this is... Yup. He lifts up the cover. Under it, a familiar baseball stadium appears. A baseball board! Oh! It's the Nangai er, Stadium with the Hankyu team at the plate! I'll relive the days of the Taiyo Whales! Up ahead is Endo! Uh, that's a paperweight. I'm the director, so that's fine. By the way, this tray is the trigger, so... In other words, that's for... Yeah, if you flick your finger, you can throw a blazing fastball. Then have at ya. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see that? Endo's blazing fastball? That thing's not Endo. Boop-a-doop. <sighs> to begin with, because of the baseball game, we couldn't keep up until morning. That came off almost like a one-liner, even though it was just a, or even though it was just a lead-in. Even more, my fingernails hurt from just flipping that thing. We'll break the curse today. Yeah. If we're prepared right now, we'll definitely be all right. What is it now? Exactly. What kind of time is it when guys get really fired up? Well, there is a lot of things that come to mind, but. I'm sure there's only one thing you'd say. Yep, erotic stuff. Don't say that so pleasantly. Having said that, I got myself a porn tape. But you don't have a TV or videotape player in this room. Who said anything about a videotape? <laughs> no way. Yep, a cassette tape. Saying that, Sunahara brings out a tape recorder in hand. You know, what the hell are you gonna do with just sound? Don't you have any sort of imagination? If you close your eyes, well, I'm sure your horny wings will spread. There's no such wings. Oh, come on, come on! If you listen to this, you'll definitely get turned on and never sleep until morning. Here, put this on. He gives me one side of the earphone. You can't just separate the left and right channels. What are you going to do if one of these sides got the guy? Are you going to imagine the male voice actor then? What do you mean? Anyways, this recording's in mono, so there's nothing like that. I'll play it now. Press. It goes. Don't say press. He presses the playback button. The tape begins to roll. A girl's hard breathing could be heard through the earphone. I close my eyes. Before long, my horny wings closed up, or close up at the bottom of my mind. Like hell they'll spread! <laughs> I throw away the earphone. What, man? I don't want to hear something like this when facing a man, you know? 
It's way too pitiful. Well, I guess so. But you got any other bright ideas? I'll continue to beat the crap out of you. That way, I'll keep going and not fall asleep. I won't be waking up anymore then! Even then, like this, we act like idiots every night. Gradually, our sleeping time continues to fall off. And within one week, we return to being late for school once again. No one's around. Somehow, I've missed this for so long. That was the one thing Tomoyo had left for me that I lost. The one thing I did during the month I went out with Tomoyo has disappeared. Time went on, and the same third-year students began picking their schools. Only Sunahara and I continued on like this for the month. I know Tomoyo is far away, even though we're in the same school. She works hard, heading to the place she's aiming at. Even now, as I stand in the same place, I watch that scene. Being surrounded by new people, talking about new things, continuing on with a new smile, that sort of scene. I still haven't gotten the smile she showed me, have I? Hey, look! Sunahara calls me to the bulletin board. What is it? Tomoyo chose number two in the school, huh? On the bulletin board are the test standings. The one in third is the guy I talked to from the student council on the day Tomoyo and I broke up. What an amazing person we knew! A prodigy! And then a celebrity! After that, a student council president? Is she an alien? That sort of person we attended school with and ate lunch, huh? Now that I think about it, it's pretty amazing. Sunahara gives an emotional deep sigh. On the other hand, I went out with her. Who? What, you bragging? Yeah, I am. Even though you gave up since you were a burden. It doesn't matter how I broke up with her, does it? I guess so. Then we could call it times, or the times when we were friends, having fun and all. You broke up with her, so it's probably painful for you to see her face, but it's different for me. It's nothing like that. <sighs> Around this time, we'd be having a blast. We'd also play sports, wouldn't we? Man, you remember well, even though you were hardly conscious. Well, I didn't like Tomoyochad back then, see. And it's different now? Yeah, it is. I'm already crying and sweating out those good times inside of me. Though I think your memories are smeared with blood. Somehow it is a bit painful. I guess so. In the end, you had a lot of fun during those times, didn't you? I suppose. <laughs> then, let's be idiots again. The only, or we only have a bit of our school life left. Let's be idiots as much as we can right now. <laughs> sure! One month passes, two months. Summer comes. I continue, always being an idiot with Sunahara. The summer holidays begin. As always, Sunahara, with no sense of the seasons, brings the TV into the room. I'll really look, okay? He held a videotape in his hand. You make it a fool of me. No, it's not that I'm thinking of hurting you. Isn't that what you said long ago? Then I'll look. Do what you want. It's a TV videotape. What plays back is a mixture of various senior students in different school uniforms. On the stage stands a person. She has a solemn attitude and long hair. I can tell by the silhouette. It's Tomoyo. But there's one thing I'm not used to seeing there. She's wearing glasses. Oh yeah, she's been wearing that recently. Doesn't it match her? I don't even bother answering him without looking, but my eyes won't come off the screen. Tomoyo brings the microphone to herself and opens her mouth. I bite the bullet in order to prevent... Er, whoops. <clears throat> I bite the bullet in order to prevent the loneliness. If we hadn't known the row of cherry trees would have been gone, we wouldn't have found fortune giving, uh, given by them. Because all, or because we all did nothing except for making the grade that, or by might and main. What language is that? Her entire speech is in English. That's the kind of class she's in, isn't she? At the end, she wins a large trophy. She smiles. Her smile reached far. Simply by them just listening in to her speech, 
That is, Tomoyo, speaking not as our school student council president. As expected, she managed to gain the confidence of all the students, beginning from the day she broke up with me. Tomoyo began walking without looking back. Firmly and sincerely doing that, she attracted a lot of people. From her class to her school year, and from there to the entire school, her popularity became widespread. And in the form of this TV broadcast, her existence became popular across the country. She's the person of the moment in our school. And I feel strange as an outsider, listening into Tomoyo's speech yet again. Yes, I can only feel strange about it all. About how I had spent time together with her. Finding it amusing, I give a smile. It's a miracle. I wonder, if she were here, what kind of face would she put on? And what would she say right now? The student council president of this preparation school, her test marks were always the highest in her year. Everyone was there for her. Even the television reports made her a celebrity. For me to say anything would be just as good as a foreigner doing that. Without meeting her, I couldn't discuss anything at all. Even my common sense has slipped. I wonder why such a pair like us was even together. In that span of that long, long month. It really is a strange story. Half a year passed. Winter came. Without anyone's face bothering me, I predict my own future. <laughs> Don't laugh! Who the hell are you? I feel really uncomfortable seeing myself like this in the mirror. But it can't be helped. You could say it's really hard to find a job now. And your hometown doesn't really have anything? What kind of hometown are you imagining? A solitary island? It's in Honshu! Having said that, I'm going to disappear for a while. Sunahara, wearing his coat, stands up. Well, I'd like to tell you not to use my room, but you will anyway, so I won't say anything. Just don't pull any crap, okay? Sunahara will be heading to his hometown starting today to go job hunting. It looks like he promised his parents that if he didn't graduate to university, he'd find a job around home. Saying that on this day... I feel reality has been thrust before me, yet the shock has disappeared. Yeah, my time to treat Sunahara like an idiot is, al is, almost, er, is already over. Sunahara changed the way he acted even faster than I did. I was left behind. Even now, that's so. Like being hit with the embers, I remain still on the Kotatsu. I'll let you know when I get back. By that time, it'll be pretty close to graduation. Well, you should also be busy trying to find a job. I'm, sh I'm sure it'll be that time. Farewell and Godspeed. Sunahara leaves the room. I stare at his back, seeing him off. There's nothing else to do. That's what, that's what I keep thinking. The next day, I begin visiting the employment club. There are no students there to help me other than the teacher that's in charge. Being in a preparation school such as this is a bit of a burden, the old teacher said. Those who don't keep up in, er, in a school such as this have to work hard as those who studied in a lower school. Simple as it may be, that's what this report confirms, because that's how human beings are. You should become aware of what's going on without becoming shocked. But, well, that's not to say you should give up. Within this, you should be able to find a job you like. Going through the same problems as Sunahara. But that's him after all. I should grasp my current place somehow. I guess I really am like a kid. Entering into winter vacation, I really am alone. I waste time in Sunahara's room. I've settled in here as if it were my own room. I've always been here, haven't I? Uselessly slugging through my third year. And even now, I have been in the same place for three years. But now we have to keep on running, as if the brakes on the bicycle were broken. That's how I feel. Not aiming high, trying to remain in the status quo. Even, the, or even then, if I'm not daring enough, my days will remain in sorrow. What exactly is it that I'm running and chasing after, within this small town? I wonder what I'll find in this time. But... There isn't anything for me to find, is there? 
I become a little scared. Will I be able to find anything more in my life? What I, what I held dear, my own past had gone by, to never be dug up ever again? Now I cannot stay the same way I am now, can I? Day after day, I could only feel uneasy, busily working every day, worried. I could no longer... I see, isn't that great? The old teacher has remarked. Even I'm happy. The place of employment I have picked would, or would start in the third, uh, third semester, the afternoon following my graduation. That is, to begin with, there was only one type of job from, that, or from the start that I could go for. Each of the other corporations require skills that I lack. What kind of modest wish was actually granted? I feel depressed, as if that hinted towards what my life would be. Even then, I have to make the report. I head into the employment club. I feel relieved seeing students who have picked their course, especially in this school, as there are few who do that. I feel happy as if you were my child. Teacher. For the first time, I open my mouth on my own. Hmm? I'm grateful for your help. And that would be the last time. Deeply thanking him. The smell of the stove's kerosene oil floated in the room as I leave. It's quiet within the school. Everyone should have gone home to probably go study. Coming outside, the snow is falling. I thought it quite rare. I wonder if it'll become rainfall, or if it'll all pile up by tomorrow. What should I do tomorrow? Sunahara still hasn't come back. It'd be good if he came back soon. I'm not sure how to spend the last of my time here. I wonder if we can be idiots after having decided to look for jobs. I wonder if we can... We really, really were idiots after all. Thinking about a lot of things, I pass through the gates going down the hill. Ahead is... A girl. Yo. Yeah. A nostalgic voice. Heard from far away. Um, you doing all right? Yeah, I have. I see, that's great. Are those the most suited words for this? For someone such as myself? What's up today? I've been waiting for you, Tomoya. Tomoya. Yeah, she that's what she called me. Or she called, that's what she called me, didn't she? Why? To tell you something. What? It's over. It's finally over. It was long. The sakura here won't be cut down anymore. They're being left. I see. That's great. Yeah, it is. I'm sure that's what you came to the school for. That's right. What I came here for, no less. It's been granted. Yeah. Does our talk end here? Is it okay for me to leave at this point? But, she continues on. A white breath slips through her lips. In return, I lost something. You know what that is? I'm not sure. Time. A long period of time. Eight months worth of time. Those happy times. Those happy times I should have spent with you, Demoya. Those times where a lot of fun things would have happened. Always being with you. Even during lunch as always. Eating food together. Going to school events together. Attending school together. Going home together. Those times where we should never have been separated. Yet on that day you and I chose our own paths. Hey Tamoya, I love you Tamoya. Going out with you is the same thing as going out with a person that I really like. No, I love you more than that. And even now I still love you. I don't know what you're talking about right now. Hey, how do you want me to answer that? How do you want me to smile? How do you want me to make you happy? I would be happy if you were just with me. 
You can be angry with me. You can ignore me. Anyway is fine. Just being with me would make me happy. The snow begins to pile up on her long hair. Hey, Tomoyo. I want to bring back those days. That's impossible. You know that already, don't you? I'll be graduating once the snow melts. I'm going to begin work. When that happens, we really will be on different paths. You'll be going to university, leaving to a far, uh, far away town. There, you'll hold a lot of things dear. And steadily, you'll begin to change. Being eager, seeing how you respond, not noticing it yourself. Being in an unknown, far away place, struggling. I'll be in the corner of this town, smeared with oil, every day sweating. I'll always be in the same place. I'm staying here. Such a pair like us shouldn't be together. <laughs> then, Tamoya, I'll go wherever you go. I don't want anything anymore. I don't want to be in the council. I don't want good grades or reports. I don't want smart friends. I don't want to spend a spring in a different town. I want to spend a spring with you. Just that is fine. I remember how Tomoyo liked me and the feelings I realized on that day. And then, that is, even now, Tomoyo. You've always had a senior's face, putting up with someone like me. What are you talking about? You'll have to work hard from now on, won't you? When spring comes, you'll be smeared- Oops, sorry, I'm wiping my nose and I accidentally bumped my mic. Ugh. When spring comes, you'll be smeared all over with oil working, right? There's nothing I could do being there with you at, the, or at all. Oh. Whatever. <laughs> I, I messed up. Oh, leave lunch to me. I'll put love into it every day. You really seem like you'd be dominant. Not at all. You're, you're deciding everything after all. So decide, Tomoya. In front of me stands the girl who loves me. And would be together with me from now on. Yeah. Please do. I take her hand. And then I hug her like that. Tomoya! Tomoya! The tears overflow from Tomoyo's eyes like a water gate opening up. She's really uneasy, isn't she? Tomoyo cries like a child. I was always an unsympathizing man. But from now on, that'll be different. I'll protect her and always bring her peace of mind. I have to do my best. That's what I swear. That's why, somehow, to be with me forever, Tomoyo. Oh my god. Uh crying so hard right now. Uh. <laughs> because that's what I hope would happen for me, and it hasn't yet, and uh fuck. <laughs> Two figures rise up on the hill. One of them I know, the other I don't. A first year student. I watch the two of them walk as they look up. The Sakura are in full bloom. Nay, John. The Sakura are really beautiful. Of course. I protected them, after all. There's no way you could do that. Are you making fun of me? Then don't look. The Sakura was wasted on you. You stab at every little, th or at every little thing as an older sister, don't you? I look down on those two saying that. Don't you want to be at least a bit polite, Tomoyo? For what reason did you protect these? Amazing! You're calling Nejan without using honorifics! Well, something like that is simple. I can do something like this. I close in on them and pinch Tomoyo's cheek. <laughs> Nejan, you're amazing! Well, your sister's always treated me like a kid after all. That's why if you're being bully er, bullied, call me. Nichan will come to your rescue. <laughs> There's nothing to bully me about. She may have a filthy mouth, but Nichan is really kind. I see, ain't that great, Brad? <laughs> it isn't Brad, it's Takafumi. I see. I'm Okazaki Tomoya. Hmm, so why are you talking to the two of us? 
You're in work clothes, so you aren't a student in this school, are you? True. I saw that you looked like you were being bullied, so I came to your rescue. <laughs> like a hero of justice. Yeah, something like that. I'll come running to you in a pinch after all. That'll be great. That's why it'll be nice meeting you from here on out. Well, I don't know what the reasons are, but nice meeting you too. We both shake hands. Tomoyo catches my shoulder and whispers in a small voice. What's with your first impression? A good one. One that's like a reliable Onisan. For my part, I feel as if you're a very dangerous Onisan. Huh? That's bad. Idiot. Well, whatever. That'll be it for today. Alright. Well, I gotta get going now. Later, dangerous Onisan. You don't have to say that. Later, Onisan. Yeah, later. Leaving the siblings together, I run down the hill. Nei-chan, what is it? Was it, or was it okay not to give him his lunchbox? Oh, crap! Which means you knew, didn't you? It's amusing, the two of you were well-matched. I think I'll get along with him just fine. I see, that's great. You want to go back? Yeah, because I'll feel embarrassed otherwise, especially when he's missing it during lunch. And Nachon's boyfriend's working hard, isn't he? Working hard? I'm exhausted. I just can't really stand these types of days. That's all. Having said that, if you don't hurry, you'll be late for your opening ceremony. It, is it already that time? I want to be here for a little longer. To see that it or to see off that idiot? Well, there's also that. I just thought I'd like to see them with you for a little longer, Onechan. The Sakura? Yeah. I see. Then just for a bit. Yup. Nechan. Hmm? They're beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that is the end of Tomoyo's route. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and this route, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below and let me know down in the comments what you thought. <laughs> I know that I cried because I always freaking cry. But anyways, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button as well, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye